Hi everybody, it's Rick Showers from No Bull RV. Hey, I wanted to pull on your coat about something and just make you aware of what's going on with newer RVs in the industry. Come over here and take a look at this. This particular trailer was built June 23rd, 2021. It's what we in the industry refer to as a COVID build. And a COVID build uh, tends to have a few exclusions that if you're a seasoned RVer, you might be uh, accustomed to having. So let's take a closer look. For example, this is a 17 foot travel trailer with a queen bed up front, bunk beds in the back for the kids, and not a lot of windows. Somebody got a little bit cheap in the manufacturing. Another thing too, folks, this one came with no stabilizer jacks. So this thing shakes back and forth when you're out there. Isn't that something? This is the funny one though. I'm a little guy, I'm five foot five. Look at the size of this awning. I bet you got a good six foot awning here, folks, which basically gives you room to put one chair underneath it. All the time the manufacturer could have put a 12 on here and made it a much better experience for you, but they chose to save a little bit of money or maybe that was the only awning that they could find at that price. Here's something else you don't see. By the way, this is the biggest window in the, in the trailer right in front of your sink. Um, the other thing you don't see is fridge vents because this one doesn't even have an RV fridge in it. It's got a 12 volt compressor driven fridge, which isn't the end of the world. You just gotta make sure your battery is fully charged all the time. It's got a hookup for a, it's got a, hookup for a back, backup monitor, believe it or not, but not a spare tire. What do you think is a little bit more important, having a spare tire or having a backup monitor? Let's take a look inside. With the absence of windows, notice what happens when I close the door. Kind of dark, isn't it? And this would really suck on a cloudy, rainy day when you had to spend more time inside rather than outside. The other thing, not that it's the end of the world, but this is not a roof mounted traditional RV air conditioner. You do see a lot of these being used on the smaller trailers, not the end of the world. It actually lowers the overall uh, height for it and it makes it a little bit easier to park on the driveway. Just thought I'd point it out as a way of comparing. So come over here and take another look. I want to show you the fridge. The, the original cabinetry at the manufacturer was built obviously to fit an RV fridge. That's why there's this great big gap around it, but due to the absence and the availability issues that they had with RV fridges in the industry during COVID, what ended up happening is they put a 12 volt uh, compressor fridge in here, which is fine. It'll run off the battery for, you know, as long as you've got battery power, you're going to have a fridge that's working. More shocking, however, is the absence of a furnace. This thing was built without a furnace. In lieu of a furnace, the manufacturer chose to put an electric fireplace in it. Guess what? You're not camping with heat in the, in the woods somewhere. You have to be plugged into power, whether it's a generator running or a service campsite. That's all this trailer is going to be good for because of not having a furnace in the cold weather. It's going to suck. So let's take a look at something that was built before COVID. Built in April of 2017. Let's look at the differences. First off, same floor plan, 17 foot trailer, queen bed in the front, bunk beds in the back. Not only do you see windows, look at the size of them. This one has got solar power pre-wired into it and it's got stabilizer jacks. Isn't that nice? There's a manufacturer who knows how big an awning should be. So on a rainy day, not only can you sit here, but so can your wife and so can your friends. Notice the fridge vents. This one has an actual RV fridge in it, folks. I'll show you that in a second. Plus, look again, windows, lots of windows. And naturally, a spare tire right where you need it. Why would you settle for less? So let's take a look inside. Look at what the difference windows make. By the way, I've got the door closed already. Look at how bright it gets when I open it up. Notice the effect having windows makes a difference. Now, when I close the door, now you get the effect of what it actually feels like to be out in nature, enjoying and seeing the beauty all around you. Take a look at the fridge. RV fridge, real RV fridge. Works on electric or propane, you choose. Now here's something I pointed out in the other one. This one actually has a conventional 
RV roof mounted air conditioner that actually can cool this thing down a lot more efficiently, a lot quieter than that side mounted one does. Other things like convenient USB ports built right in and plugins. You notice there's no absence of those. There's extra cabinets in this one. Why? Because it was built before COVID. And frankly, folks, stuff built during COVID kind of decontented, if I can say it in a really nice way. I know that the prices went up through the roof. Frankly, in, in my opinion, uh, that's why we believe used RVs are better than new ones. Come down to the lot, check it out for yourself, see what something a couple years older is going to do for you. We'd be happy to help you.